Hey guys, <clears throat> I hope everything's going okay. I want to first, um, I want to tell you guys thank you. Uh, there are several of you that are actually completing the work in the uh, in the classroom, as well as making an attempt at the coding lessons. Um, I also want to say that I, that, believe it or not, I I really do miss you guys. I wish that. Um, I wish that we could go back to school. I wish that I could see you guys standing outside my door. I'd like to give you all a fist bump um, on the way in, but you know, things things just are not allowing that to happen uh, right now. We're gonna make the uh, the most of it. So I put a I put an assignment in your classroom. Okay, there's actually a lot of stuff that you can do online and I'm gonna to try to take advantage of that. For instance, one of the things that um, we're going to do, there are some tours, some museum tours that you can do online. I know that a lot of you are probably cooped up in your house like I am, um, and, and that's good, that's good. You know, we need to be following the protocol so that we can uh, get things back to normal. But um, anyway, th so what I did in your classroom, I provided a link to 12 different museum tours that you can take online. So what I want you to do for this week's assignment is you are going to choose one of the tours. For instance, when you go to um, your classroom and click on the tour, there will be a list of 12 different tours that you can take okay and um, no they're from all around the world you know so there's a lot of options so what you're gonna do um, for instance if you want to choose the one about NASA okay so in a different tab you're going to um, type NASA online tour you know just do a Google, a Google search and uh, it should bring you to a, it should bring you to a link where you can take the tour online. Okay. So after you do the tour, because because I, I want you to do the tour. Okay. After you do the tour, you're going to create a slideshow presentation about the tour. All right. And um, I'm not sure how much information will be available online for you to use, like um, images or any of that stuff. But um, if you can't find anything good, you can, uh, you can do a presentation about where the tour or where the museum is located. Uh, that'll be fine. Um, you know, it's, I, I wish I could talk to you guys. <laughs> you know, I, w I wish that we could talk about it, and it might make it make more sense. But uh, I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to put in the um, classroom uh, what I want. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to explain it the best I can. And if that if that's not good enough, I mean it, it's okay. Okay. I'll tell you another thing, I've had a lot of questions about some of the Tinker Lessons, and to answer some of your questions, um, there, there are hints on the left side of the page. When you go into the Tinker Lesson, there's like a hint on the left side of the page, and i tell you what I'm gonna do that we haven't done um, up to this point. I'm going to make it to where you guys can talk to each other in the classroom. Now, I want to start off by saying this is not going to be a, like a chat room, okay? I don't want you talking about stuff that doesn't have anything, anything to do with the lesson. Uh, but if you're not understanding something, put a comment in the classroom. I don't understand this. I, I can't get past lesson two, or I, I, I don't know how to do lesson four, or... Whatever, just put a comment, and I will let you guys respond to each other. And um, so hopefully that'll help, okay? Because the only thing I can tell you is that um, 
you know, a lot of the stuff with the coating, you're really going to have to uh, trial and error. Um, it's really, you really got to, something on my phone. You got to figure it out um, the best you can by yourself. But I will let you help, I will, I will let you guys help each other. You know, just like we're in the classroom, I always let you guys walk around and help somebody that doesn't understand. But, you know, we don't have that freedom right now. So I'm going to open up the, um, the comment section in each classroom so that you guys can talk to each other about it. And I have no problem with that. Another thing that I'm going to say, um, you, you know that you know who all is in your class, um, in my classroom, and there are still some people that aren't um, aren't doing some of the work, and that's okay. Okay, you know if if you don't have, if they don't have a computer or internet or good internet access or or whatever, you know it's fine. Gracious. Um, I would like to ask you guys a favor, if you could. Those of you that have cell phones, could you text? Um, some of your classmates or at least one try to text one of your classmates uh, maybe somebody that's sitting next to you in my classroom if you have their number and ask them hey are you able to do the work um, that the teachers are putting in our classrooms you know because all the teachers are doing this now you know uh, your math your your English your science it's we we all made a Google classroom for each one and for each one of you and uh, the class codes were given. So if you, um, if you can, just send a text to one or two people that you sit next to and just ask them if they're able to access everything in the classroom. And um, hopefully we can get, uh, you know, there's no telling how long we're gonna have to be doing this, okay? They say April 10th, we're gonna reassess everything and but we're not going back before then. So it's going to be at least April 10th. So, um, you know, we're gonna have to get used to doing things this way and that's fine, you know, we'll figure it out. But um, like I was saying, if you could um, send a message or a text or something to one of your classmates, one or two of your classmates, and just make sure that they're able to do everything in classroom. It would really help us out um, tremendously. And again, guys, um, keep leaving private comments to me if you have a question about anything. Please have your parents send me an email. You know, if if they have any questions or comments or concerns about anything, you know, I'm happy to to answer each one of you or each one of them. And again, um, I miss you guys. I hope everything's well. I hope that you had a good spring break. I'm sorry that it turned into a <laughs> several week long fiasco like it has, but you know, just try to make the most of it. You know, stay home, stay healthy, stay safe, but you know, enjoy, enjoy the time that you're home you know, to an extent. I mean, this isn't like a regular school day. It shouldn't be. You know, sleep in a little bit. You know, make sure that you're, um, don't give your parents a hard time, you know, because this is tough on them too, all right? I have two kids here, and I can tell you, me trying to do everything I have to do and make sure that they have to do everything they have to do, and you know, it's, it's stressful. So take it easy on your parents. Um, and please, you know, reach out to me. You know, if you have any any issue with anything concerning class or or whatever, you know, I'll be here. I'm, I'm in front of my computer a, a good portion of the day, so I will respond um, as quickly as I can. So, again, um, miss you guys. Stay safe.